Hi everybody, it's Claire here, just with a quick video of this little French clock that I've made out of the um, French Country collection. It's a new one by Graphic45. Um, this is one of my projects for CHA over in Anaheim in January 2013. Um, but it's a very flat little clock, so I've taken some photographs but thought I'd just do a quick video just to show you um, the whole thing really. I've used um, a downloaded clock face and crackled that over, I don't know if you can see, but it is crackled with an indigo blue crackle stamp. Um, I've distressed the backing paper to make it look worn and then um, I've cut out the aperture here and behind it there is, if you can see, a little matchbook box. That's um, just the inside of one of the Graphic 45 matchbook boxes. I haven't had time to make an album to go in it, unfortunately. But um, it does help the clock to stand up because if I turn it round, you can see, let's take out that, um, it's very flat. So it does actually stand up with the box on the back. And then I've covered the back again with um, one of the papers from the collection and then used one of the cutter parts as the frame around the little box. I can't open it too far because the um, glossy accents hasn't dried properly yet. I've cut out the clock with the B in the middle on the front there. I've used one of the cutter part borders all the way around the sides. Which way am I going? of the little box and put two hinges on um, that are drying so I have to be careful with those and then the bottom of the box is covered as well and that's painted black well the whole thing is painted black acrylic I've used two millimeter chipboard for the actual clock and then I've cut one of the borders out here with the hens on and the large cockerel very French cockerel over here and then just a couple of um, phrases from the paper as well and I've raised those up on pop dots and just put glossy accents over them and then in the centre here I've just cut out um, one of the fruit it's not a garland is it but a fruit um, thingy <laughs> arrangement bunch of fruit put some glossy accents on that pair there and then just stuck that um, down to the back here, mm -mm. painted it black and just stuck it down on the other side of the frame before I put the backing on. And then again I've used one of the borders from the cutter parts just to set that frame or that cutout off. So I was quite pleased with that very simple little clock, took forever to make as they always do um, and then there is, because it's going off to CHA, a full instruction, um, not instructions, uh, supply list on the back and I'll put that under the post as well so you can see what I've used. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you have a go at making one, have fun!